Welcome to this free lecture from my module 2 ZBrush concept and detailed character poly painting course. Hope you enjoy this little lecture and uh, if you're interested in doing the full poly painting course uh, watch the advert at the end of this free tutorial. Okay welcome back right in this little tutorial what I'm going to do is to show you how to erase poly paint data. So to erase poly paint data we need to set this as a layer so we need to record the layer options the first thing I'm going to do is put this into a red and I'm going to go to RGB now you don't need to put it into red I'm just doing it for this so I'm going to put it into RGB not material on RGB just RGB set that on 100% and I'm going to click fill object okay so what I need to do now is I need to just make sure that's a poly mesh 3D and I need to come down to layers so what I want to do is I want to paint a blue on here, but I want the ability to be able to change it over. Okay, so I want I want the ability to be able to erase it. Okay, so I'm going to select a blue in here, like this. I'm going to come over to the layers, and I'm going to create a new layer, like this. And I'm going to name it Blue Erase. Okay, so you'll notice that this is recording here. So if I now go to a standard brush and I just have RGB activated with this on 100%, I can now paint in here blue like this. Let me just change this to this shader. But if I want to erase some of this, I can hold the Alt key. You need to make sure you're not on Z, add Z sub, just RGB. I'm holding the Alt key and now I can erase that data out. Now you can't do that if you're not in layer recording mode. So what I could do now is I could turn layer recording off by hitting this little button here or just moving this. And you're gonna notice that I have now control over the opacity of it. I can create a new layer now. I'm gonna call this green, erase, and hit enter. And now I'm gonna go and select a green. And with this recorded layer on here, I'm gonna draw in a green. And remember, if I press Alt, I can delete it. But what about if you want to delete part of the blue? You know, you want to make a change to that blue. Well, we know if I come out of layer recording for this now by just moving that, you can see I can change the opacity of these, and I can still change the opacity of the blue as well. But if I go into this blue layer and I just hit this record button again, so it's back in record mode, now what I can do is I can hold the Alt key and I can erase it out. So I've gone back in and I've raised it. Now I'm going to turn that back off, and you've got this going on. We can also move the layers down so one goes over the top of each other. So if you need to change that and change that to give a kind of blend like that. So that is how we can erase poly painting data in here. Now this could also be used with morph target for actually erasing sculpting details and I'm going to talk about erasing using morph targets sculpted details in the next lesson. Welcome to module two, ZBrush concept and detailed character poly painting. So during this course, the main features are painting and texturing skin with control layers, using surface noise to add color and additional detail, masking techniques, image reference and projections, color buildup and development, many tips and tricks along the way including material fills and blends and as a bonus final render settings and compositing inside of Photoshop plus much much more. To buy this course please visit mojomojo.newzenla.com